Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. This is Phil Frame in for Holt Hanley, and this is the view from Fremont Peak at 3,000 feet above sea level. Lots of white, and the snow doesn't even look like it's melting at all, at least not yet. Temperature is currently 41 degrees at the Salinas Municipal Airport with the dew point at 39, and the winds are calm, so it feels like 41 degrees. Now here is our radar imagery for the last few hours and this is where most of the activity is. It's from the north and east in the backwash of the weather system. So it's not very much right now. We do have a little shower just offshore. We will still have a threat of showers today, but again, the main brunt of the system has passed through. Temperatures around the area, they're starting to creep up now, generally around 40 degrees, although a few places are a little warmer, a few places are a little cooler. And around the state, well, we have a very interesting temperature pattern. The coldest, it's not Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is 30. Currently, it's Redding at 29. And Eureka is not far behind with 34. Los Angeles is currently reporting 48 degrees with moderate rain. And the wind chill factor at the Los Angeles airport is currently 35 degrees. So if you're going to LA, it's rather unpleasant. And here is the situation for highs today. Very unusual. No 60s on this map. Mid 40s to low 50s north of the Tehachapi's. Los Angeles expecting a high of only 52 degrees. And this is the reason why this cold weather system is churning up this moisture, bringing heavy snow to the mountains around Los Angeles and heavy rain in the lower elevations. And we do have lots of winter storm warnings in effect. I'll just get to the one that's going to affect us most or the one that's closest to us and that will be through 4 a.m. Wednesday and that's for the northern half of California. There's a blizzard warning in effect for the mountains around Los Angeles until 4 p.m. this afternoon. And here is the situation over the last 12 hours. This system is making its way eastward bringing up all this moisture along with this cold air. We often get cold systems but they don't usually have very much moisture. We often get very wet systems, but they don't usually have so much cold air. And here's the next storm for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Not a whole lot with it, but it's a cold one. So we will see low snow levels, but not as low as this last one. Another storm for Monday and Tuesday. This one looks to be a little more intense. You can see the blue is approaching sea level to the north of us. So another very cold system, probably colder than the one on Sunday. And yet another one which is going to move in for the weekend. And this is for Wednesday when we get a bit of a break. In fact, it's Wednesday and Thursday looks to be the best that we can get in terms of weather. And then this weekend or next weekend, actually, another cold system. And look at this snow near sea level over in Northern California into Southern Oregon. I don't think I've ever seen a series of these storms like this. And the long range model after that says there'll be another one after that. And then we have, we are expecting rain to get up to around, oh, an inch over most of the central coast through tomorrow evening. So more rain, significant rainfall and snow at the higher elevations. Highs today below normal, no matter where you're at, near 50 in the San Francisco Bay Area, mid 40s, low 50s in the Santa Cruz Mountains, 40s and 50s from Moss Landing to Morgan Hill and low 50s in the Salinas Valley and 40s and low 50s in the Monterey Bay area. Next few days, it will be below normal, maybe getting in the low 60s on Friday, but that won't last long as another cold outbreak will affect us for next weekend.